Hi, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the bite wing radiographs. What is a bite wing radiograph? So the bite wing radiograph, it shows the maxillary and the mandibular crown of the teeth and some part of the root and bone. So the bite wing radiograph it doesn't capture the complete tooth. So what are the indications of a bite wing radiograph? For the detection of caries lesions, especially when the caries are in the on the proximal surfaces, for example, at the contact areas, which are difficult to locate. Monitoring the progress of the dental caries. Assessment of existing restorations. For example, proximal, you can easily monitor the contours of the restoration using a bite wing radiograph. The bite wing radiograph it is also used for the assessment of the periodontal status. So these are the four main indications of a bite wing radiograph. So what are the anatomical features um, on a bite wing radiograph? So this is a horizontal bite wing radiograph. The anatomical features that are visible, for example, this radio opaque or white color, it is the enamel because it is the most highly mineralized tissue, so it appear white in color. This part is the dentine. So this is the dentine. These projections within the dentine, these are the pulp horns. So these are the pulp horns. This area, it is the pulp chamber. This is the pulp chamber. This is the pulp chamber. Below the pulp chamber, this part is the this is the part of a root canal. Not the com as as some part of the root is visible. So this part is the is the root canal. This is space between the tooth and the bone. This is space is the periodontal space. So this is space is the periodontal space. The root surface, it is covered by cementum, which is not clearly visible because of the, because the, it is not, the cementum, it is not highly mineralized and a very thin layer is present. So the root is covered by cementum and this part of the bone is the, of the alveolar bone is the interdental bone. So this is a, this is the interdental bone. You can see this bone is the interdental bone. Here there is some bone loss in this area. Thank you very much for watching this lecture. I hope this lecture is useful. Please do give us your feedback in the comments below. Thank you so much and stay blessed.